Okay, this is why you want to hire a professional contractor that knows what they're doing when it comes to roofing. Look down here at this roof that was just laid last year, and look at this. They didn't even lay it right. Look, this is where this is what is supposed to be glued. Um, but look at this mess. All of this. Look down through here. All of this. Uh, not even nailed. There's not even. There's no nails whatsoever. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Homeowner paid fifteen thousand dollars for this roof. That is just. Look over here. I mean, look at all of this right here. I mean, this is hiring a contractor that you thought just because they're a slick talker could come in and put your roof on. Maybe gave you a good price, maybe not, but you trusted them. And now this whole roof has to be tore off and the contractor's nowhere around. Phone number's disconnected, everything, during a particular storm, windstorm. If you come over here on this back side, you'll see some more stuff just like this. See this? Look at this right here. Look at that. Look at all of this. Just absolutely horrible. And that's why you want to definitely check the Better Business Bureau. Do all of your research on your contractor before you hire them because this is the reason why. Um, a lot of homeowners want to save money and I go with the cheapest bid. A lot of times that's not a good idea either because um, you end up with this. And now the homeowner is going to have to pay out of their pocket to have this roof tore off and redone and redone right. So um, it's just it's a sad, it's a sad deal um, for everybody. You know, gives roofers bad name. And now, now the homeowner is uh, stuck with a humongous bill, and I got to be the bad, bad guy right now and give them the bad news more or less. So, uh, and that's what I'm about ready to do. I'm gonna go get down off the roof and give them the bad news.